Homie, welcome to another episode of Nostalgia Games. This is Mermaid Swamp. I don't even know shit about this game. And it looks like it's a RPG horror by looking at the menu. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to expect. So let's just jump into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Mermaid Swamp. Uh mermaid why why sh why was she you know this game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images please be mindful of this as you play the author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by the game they letting you know like yo you about to get into some shit son so i'm not responsible for no type of offense Rin Yamazaki what the am I underwater what the hell am I doing Rin what what's his name Yamazaki somebody there who is this motherfucker Ooh. What, how do you even say that? Ngh. Sound like he's saying the N word. Ngh. Why are you racist? Rin, wake up. Stop sleeping already for crying out loud. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. One hell of a nap. Utah's been driving all this time and you've just been snoozing in the back sheesh not a hint of a of lady in this one what not exactly interested in being ladylike for an what she ain't what okay rise and shine Ren I'm going to guess you slept well given you started around noon yeah, but thanks to Baldy here, more of a rude awakening. <laughs> Quit ya yammering, Yamazaki. <laughs> okay. Hey, Utah, where are we anyway? You said something about kicking things into high gear, but we, but are we in the mountains or what? Haha, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I don't know where this is either. Huh? You telling me we're lost? What? <laughs> yep. Don't have the first clue where we are. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you know you knew the way. What's going on, homie? Like you said, you knew you you was following the GPS. Like what happened, son? Sorry about that. I mean. I did kind of know at first, but the fog just got so thick, like the girl's booty, it was just thick, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I, oh, that ain't funny, shrimp face, this is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip, in your lousy old GPS-less car, ow, don't kick the seat, well now what do we do? I can't even see any signs. Shit. Huh? Yuda, why did you stop? I, I didn't. It just stopped. Hold on, I tried the engine. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I think it's totally busted. Are you for real, dude? Oh, my God, son. Wait here. You dumbass. <laughs> this is funny. Wait here. I'll go out and take a look. <laughs> Alright. So I'm I'm this homegirl. I'm I don't know who I am. Oh well, hold up. I'm not controlling this at all. Um Wait. 
Okay. Hello, girl. Why can't I control you? I'm trying to, uh... Okay, there we go. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Okay. Um... Yeah. Um... Okay, uh... Where do I go? That's the car. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? I don't know. There's nothing in the way. Um... Somebody there? Oh shit. Mr. Master Roshi. Quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? Just an old coot, damn it. Don't freak me out. We're on a trip, but our car went kaput. So I guess we're struck. That's very unfortunate. Is there any way you can stay? Nah. If we can get it. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll spend we'll be spending the night in the car. You needn't do that. My home is nearby. You can stay there. Even if it's summer. It's quite cold in the nights. Huh? For real? You you, you for real? Let me let me talk to my buds real quick, you know what I'm saying? Let me let them know what's going on right now. That's a relief. Thanks all, man. But you sure? You sure? We don't want to pressure you, man. I know you're like 70 years old and shit. Well, I'm a I'm a landlord here around here. You, know? you see, my house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks make use of it. I'm really, I'm really grateful. We'll get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Ah, I can see it now. Whoa. That place is huge. Damn. Now that's a mansion? I could feel bad, Gramps. But thanks. Like, you ain't had to let me in that, that mansion. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Whoa. It's really roomy inside, too. You gotta be rich. Am I right? <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. Come along, I'll show you to your rooms. Alright, well, we got our own rooms. You can use this room, Mrs. Miss Wren. Forgive the old fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kinda like the old retro thing. Thanks again, Gramps. That's why this channel's called Nostalgic Games, cause of the whole retro shit. Anyway, I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook up some dinner. Until then, make yourself at home. Thanks. What you gonna cook? I'm kind of sick. You know what I'm saying? I need some like chicken noodle soup or some shit. You know what I'm saying? With with the little vegetables and then all that. Cut up some little broccoli and carrots and onions and shit. I need that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I could I could I could do that. You know what I'm saying? All right. I definitely need to charge my phone in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Can I go up in the bed and sleep? No. Wait, hold up. Okay. Um, can I go in the treasure box? Can I find some gold? A chest for valuables, maybe. There's nothing inside, though. Guys, I had no idea this was an RPG horror game, but we're gonna play this shit. Nothing inside. I know I played It Moves, but... It got boring as fuck, so I didn't really com continue it, so, let's see if I, you know, oh shit, let's see if, uh, wait, how can I, can I, okay, log, oh, I can save, okay, okay, I can save and shit, okay, hey, old man, 
Hmm, I don't have much food on hand for guests. Would chicken and egg on rice be alright? Shit, that sound mad good. Put some gravy on that bitch, man. What? I kind of could. Ugh, I kind of prefer something beefier, like literally beefier. Unfortunately, I'm out of beef. I must apologize. Oh well, at least. So oh shit, I skipped it. <laughs> All right, I skipped that shit. I, I I didn't mean to do that, but you know. All right, let's go. Um, we in this big ass house, right? And I'm like, God damn, homie. Um, shit, look at this girl laying in the lake. You know what I'm saying? She like, uh, you know what? I don't have any soap and I don't have a place right now. So I'm going to just lay in this lake and just soak up everything. You know what I'm saying? I just love nature. I'm just soak up all this lake shit. You know what I'm saying? A washing machine. You know, it, well, the, that girl in the picture definitely need that shit. Because she trying to use the... Okay, I need to take a shit. I'll be right back. Alright. Bathroom sink. Alright. Um, <clears throat> It's locked. Fuck. Alright. Um... Let's, let's, let's see what's up in here. Hey, what's up, homie? How you doing, man? You good? It ain't a, it ain't that old of a building, really. You see the other, the other place out back? Now that's old, huh? There's another mansion out back. The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago, since the other one was falling apart, huh? Okay, so there's two mansions up in this bitch. Okay. All right. So we 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 you know so far we know that there's two mansions. The old man is staying in this one. This is his crib. The other one is probably his homie's joint. And he's like, "Yo, my homie um Jin, he's like a music producer, you know what I'm saying? That's my homie right there. Can I go up the stairs?" Okay. All right. I don't want to get the old man mad, but let's not go up the stairs. What up, Ren? Nice. Your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. It's a great design, isn't it? You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. All right. Now, I got the homie Ren doing my makeup and shit because, you know, I'm looking like fucking... Um, old woman rivers right now, you know what I'm saying? Check out my homeboy over here. Um, what's his name? Yuda. Yuda sounds like Luda. Anyway, hey Ren, you see that big swamp in front? Yeah, the one you can see in out the windows. It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow. Motherfuckers be swimming in ponds and lakes and shit. I swim in fucking beaches, man. I don't know. Yeah, uh, stay away from me after you do that. Because you're going to reek. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. It's funny shit. Alright, let's see. It was nothing inside. I, I can't sleep in the bed. So there's no hanky-panky going around. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh... This is the homie's house. This is not our house. Got the TV and shit. Ren and Stimpy on? No, they ain't got no cable? Oh, shit. Alright. Okay. A fireplace and all that shit. Um. Let's check what's, what's up in here. Oh, that's... Yeah, I took a bad dump in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Literally. I took a dump in that shit. Alright, um, whose who's room is that? I guess it's nobody's room. Ooh, that's an ugly motherfucker. Blech. Yeah, blech. It's an ugly motherfucker, right? Mm. Look ugly as shit. Alright, let's go up in here. 
I, I, I can't go up the stairs. I, I spoke to the homie. Spoke to that homie right there. And let me save real quick. Log. Bam. Okay, 15 seconds. Uh. Yeah. Can I move? Oh, shit. What the hell? Why oh, I can't move now? Come on, son. Okay, there we go. I don't know what's good. <laughs> What's going on with the game? But I guess I could take a nap. I guess. No? Can I take a nap? Can I take a nap? Can I take a nap? No, I can't. All right. Um. So far, I talked to the homies. Maybe I need to talk to the OG. See what's up with him. A clock. Okay, she looking like she about to kill herself underwater. I'm like, homegirl, look. Life cannot be that hard, girl. Huh, I don't have much food on... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's go through this door. Um, I talked to the homies already. Can I get out the crib, though? Whoa, that's a that's one big swamp. Hmm. <clears throat> What's this? A stone monument? Uh, a man did abduct from the seashore. Crap! I can't read this shit. Maybe site. Tarod, Saitarod, know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? God, jeez, old man, you gotta, you gotta not do that. You can't be sneaking up on me like that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. What does it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so-called mermaid swamp. Legend? I don't believe in no goddamn legend, homie. It originated in the middle of major... Ma Look, I don't want to mispronounce that shit. But... You know, era. My family has governed this area since around that time. It is said son of a leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds shady right out of the gate. <laughs> well, it's a legend. You know, I, shit. You know, these stories, you know what I'm saying? The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty. That he took her to his mountain home. Oh shit. You already know what happened. He got that bump of the bump of the bump of the bump. Dawn the dawn dawn. You, you already know. He created a fish tank for her to live in. And he filled it with water from it. He ain't do all that. He, he did. You already know what he did though. You already know what he did though. But a mermaid of the sea cares not for it the swamp water the mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly her, her clear skin swelled her scales fell off and her voice as melodic as ringing bells was reduced to a beastly howl because she didn't have no water I didn't read the last part I don't know what the fuck happened and a mermaid's wrath is no pretty thing young women has vanished from the nearby village it is said to be the mermaid's curse. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. Mourn who? Iggy? I mean, I, shit. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but it's interesting nonetheless, yes? Uh, sorry. Don't know about all that now. Tell it to say, say Taro. 
He likes stories and stuff. Ah, is it that? Is that right? Well, I've prepared dinner now. How he prepared dinner when he's out here? Unless he had the food cooking up on deck, you know, from before. So, so come to the dining room if you would. Oh, finally. Let's get a move on. I'm fucking hungry. Let's go and eat. Mmm, delish. This is now some good stuff. Good old man. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. Ah, the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. Oh, shit. Okay, the bath is free for any guy and girl. I mean, one at a time, though. One at a time. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourselves. Okay. Yuka, aren't you gonna eat? What's up? What's what's going on with you? Yuka? Yeah, I guess I'm just too tired to have an appetite. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? We'll clean you up. You can get some rest and shit. Alright. Thanks, Yuta. Yummy, yummy. Y'all clean up now. Why do you... Why? Why do we have to clean up after you, son? Can you do it yourself, Yamayuki? Shut. Yeah, work on your names while you're at it. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm ready to conk out after that bath. I mean, god damn, that shit was like, I'm about to go to sleep and shit. <laughs> Let me save right here. I'm just, I'm acting a goddamn fool, guys. You guys already know. Ah, nice fluffy bed. <laughs> All right. Huh? Am I in the water again? Am I dreaming? Must be a dream. I mean, I'm not drowning. And my eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle, though. Oh, who's that motherfucker? Somebody's there again. Hey, look. Um, Tyrone, I don't got your money right now. Just give me like a week. Like I'm, tr I'm, I just got a new job and shit. I'm just trying to get, you know, some hours in, and I'll pay you back your fifty dollars. I, I owe you. Who the hell is that? That's Tyrone. I told you. Look, I owe you fifty dollars. I know. I'll kill you. Look, I mean, look, man. You ain't gonna kill me about. You ain't gonna kill me over fifty dollars. I told you. I got you at the end of the week. I'll let you know when I got it though. So let me work some hours, and I'll give you your fifty dollars. Got some good sleep. Morning already. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Let me know what you guys think. I've been acting a damn fool and shit. <laughs> I sipped a little happy juice, and you know, just acting silly right now. So leave a comment, leave a like if you like enjoyed this video. If you're new, become an 8-Bit Homie today. Hit that subscribe button right now. That lets me know that I'm doing a great job entertaining you guys every day. And Mermaid Swamp, I never knew this would be a, a, a RPG horror, but it's, this, this seems a little dope so far. Like I said, I played It Moves, and it was boring. After the second video, I was like, nah, it's too much reading. Let me get out of that shit. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. And shit, let me know what you guys think if I should continue this. Alright, so thank you guys for watching Nostalgia Games. I'm Anthony. I'm out. Peace.